I came up with a, a concept that I don't believe is original. I'm sure someone out there and put a link below if, if you found this concept before. So I'm not claiming that this is mine um, or I'm the originator in any way. I'm simply claiming that I thought about it and I concluded, right? So I'm sure that there is a concept out there that is better phrased than this one, that is more accurate than this one, that is more statistically uh, neutral and so on. It's an upgrade of this, right? So, if you can find it, put a click below. Uh, put a <laughs> click. Put a link below, and and it'll be it'll be great to help everyone else with it because well, it'll be more factual than what I'm about to give out. Anyway, so what I wanted to speak about today is what I believe really hurts a lot of people, as not so much a secret, but just as a reality that most people can live with and that is a lot of people live by what I'd like to call the 80-20 rule and what that basically is is that 80% of the time they have opinions and 20% is based off um, facts so a person very often and you can see this in the news very often a person will have an opinion before they gather facts they have more opinions than facts and the problem with that is, especially when it comes to investing, is that you have very little information and a very large opinion on very little information, right? So whatever decision you're making is actually based on opinion and not fact, because only 20% of the information you have is factual. The other 80 is based on opinion. So, and people have been conditioned into this, assuming that because they know something, it must be factual, and yeah, it's, 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 it's horrible, but it's not a video I'm going to get into, because um, obviously it's not, it's, not, it's not a video that people want to hear, so I'm not going to get into it. Um, but leading to that point, if, again, you, let's just say you have 100 bucks, <coughs> and you have 20% of information, 80% opinion, you're going to put that 100 into a 20% based um, company, right? Company that you research 20% of the time and 80% is based on information. There's a higher chance of failure on that. What you want to do is you want to reverse it. You want to have 80% information and then, so 80% facts and 20% opinion. So, an easy way of working out whether you, you, you're mostly dealing with facts or opinion is you should be able to not necessarily sell the idea, but you should be able to argue for the company that you have invested in. That's a simple way of working out whether you are basing it on opinion or fact. A person should be able to come up to you on the street and basically say, I don't like this company. It's a bad company. And you should be able to logically, not emotionally, logically put together reasons and an argument as to why that person is wrong. And if you can't do that, then you need more research on whatever it is that you, you, you invest in. So, basic example, if I've confused you, basic example. Let's say you decide to um, invest in the NASDAQ for the S&P 500, right? An ETF linked. So, the argument, just off the top of my head, right? Argument, S&P 500 sucks, okay? Well... It's going to continue to outperform because, firstly, it's managed by the top 500. Uh, it's made up of the top 500 companies in the U.S. And the U.S. is an army of the world. Um, and the way that it's structured, the way that it's structured, it's capitalistic. And therefore, companies continue to try and grow within the U.S., sometimes outsourcing. And therefore, if I'm investing in the top 500, the, top, the biggest 500 companies in the U.S., I might not have the best growth, but I'm going to have the most stable growth because the probability of all 500 companies failing at once is tremendously low. And for that to happen, it would then signify and all the others would fail along because that's where the majority of their money is. And the pensions put their money into the S&P 500 
and the vanguards and so on and so on so it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy people put money in it and mo and it makes money because people pay more money in it and therefore it becomes stable so i might not have the best growth instantly but i will have stable growth simple arguments right well you're wrong okay statistically speaking um what has been the growth of the s p 500 over the past decade over the past two decades over the past four decades and so on and so on and that's kind of your your argument it's logical right well this okay um tesla was not in the, in the s p 500 before now it is and it's growing like a beast apple's still growing amazon's still growing microsoft is still growing these are just general companies that existed in the S&P 500. What happened to the S&P 500 when everyone's saying that the market was crashing? Right? And if you continue buying into the S&P 500, well, statistically, you will be up. You're still wrong, okay? Warren Buffett, arguably one of the best investors in the world, recommends. Easiest thing for you to do, invest in the S&P 500. What do pension funds do? Invest in the S&P 500. What do the big uh, money managers do? Hedge using the S&P 500, etc., etc. So, you have all log logical points. Again, I'm not saying these are the points that you'd phrase because some of them are just kind of there and they're very light. But I'm giving an example. Very different to why are you investing in, in in Tesla? Because it's a nice company. That's not an argument, right? Um, it's gonna take over the world. I like Elon Musk. He's a genius. That's opinionated. We can agree on that opinion. But it's still an opinion, right? So it goes back to the idea of what logical arguments do you have? The more emotional you get, the lower the chances that it's logical and factual. And that, over the long term, is going to hurt you. So you want more facts than opinions. And then you're going to do well over the long term. So how do I invest? How do I use that towards investing? How do I then put my 80%, my 80-20 rule into investing? next video.